insert stock LA background here. Welcome back to California for a Monday matinee of the conclusion of the Auto Club 400. I guess you can say the racing yesterday was so popular that NASCAR decided to give the fans an encore. Rain moved in here at about 6 o'clock here on the East Coast late last night, and it stayed for quite a while. After a while, it was getting late on the East, getting late out here as well. NASCAR decided to pull the plug. Now, today, California, sunny skies, temperature in the low to mid 60s. And by the time this race is over, we will be out of here. And who will walk among the LA greats tonight? Greats today. Sorry. Race news a couple cars. Some cars have been in accidents, mostly due to weepers. First yellow came out late on Sunday was the 40 hitting a weeper and hitting the wall. He is still running back on the lead lap. Our, on the lead lap right now in 25th as of the time of this rain delay. The, it's about 630 yet late last night, 630 last night. No, I'm sorry, 715 locally. I'm getting my facts straight. Second caution was first round of showers. And then that delayed the alert race briefly. Then later on, more accidents. Tandem spinning led to tandem crashing for the 14 to KFC Cup Series and the 24 of Hunter Miller last week's winner. Both of these cars have damage and are back in the rear of the field. Menard's Cup Series came and hit the 24. So Menard's Cup Series was the first LA casualty. Later on, the final big accident before this uh, caution flag. Watch the 22, comes, came across the 43, drove basically over the top of over the side of that car, clipped the 22 as he came across, gets hit, hits the one off a of two, and then that ended the race then and there, Sunday. Today, bright skies and the beautiful Hollywood Hills sunshine. And the resumption of the Auto Club 400. During this bit, the teams will be allowed to come down pit road and check pressures. They did check some pressures this morning. The cars that were involved in accidents on yesterday did have some time to repair the damage, most notably the 43, especially since he's the one that basically lost a uh, left rear quarter panel yesterday. When the uh, 21 or the 22 drove across him. And the other Lombard brother, the 95, running pretty strong. And 15th, both the Lombards, YouTube stars, competing full time on the IOP Cup Series circuit this, this year. Zachary Lombard driving for a new team. And Levine Family Racing. So, 
Here is the leader after four cautions back on yesterday. And laps number six, we are getting ready for the restart out in Cali. Sunny skies. It's definitely going to be interesting. Starting the race out in the cold or in chillier conditions. However, it is rumored to warm up and maybe crack the 70s by the time this uh, the afternoon rolls around. Pace car peels off. WB Network bringing the field down for the restart here at California. Definitely, and definitely not what the outside lane wanted. They did not get going at all on that restart. On the restart since yesterday, it looks like the nine spun the tires, and it looks like oh, there's some smoke from I think the from the back. This the ten got in the back of the thirty one going down the back stretch. Again, with the cooler temperatures, I expect a lot of cars to really play it safe, if you will, on this restart. But <laughs> you're talking to Cup Series, to racers. They don't know the meaning of the word safe. Two-car breakaway at the front of the field already, and there is a massive dogfight for third. You see, the nine continues to lose more spots. He finally settles in outside the top ten. Apollo Moon trying to take the lead. And, ooh, a little bit aggressive in taking that spot. That time. Steve, any words on the nine car? Jacob Tube got on the radio and said, I don't know what happened to this thing between yesterday and today, but this car is running like turds right now. As you see him get passed again by the 10. He's in the middle of a three wide pass. He's getting a push from the 16, trying to get the car back going. He later got in the radio and said, please apologize to the everybody on the inside for battling, for stacking them up. I That was not my intention. I was trying to get going, and I spun the tires. Yeah, that's the problem with uh, when it rains here in some of the earlier races, and it's typically a lot cooler than expected, is sometimes your tires aren't warmed up. That's why we saw a lot of the guys, usually see guys swerve the – swerve during pace laps and hopefully to try to get some heat back in the tires in case they don't you know spin stack up the field or spin and cause a wreck as we got problems again turn two this time got a couple cars getting together looks like a flat on the 43 Hometown kid. Oh, that two car though. He's we stay green. Yeah, flat, flat left front, flat left front. Krista, Joseph Lombard got yeah. Joseph Lombard got in the radio and said, "Cut a left front, cut left front, cut a right front. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Whoa, coming down." He is currently staying out of the way. NASCAR is, is watching quite intently to see if uh, there's any debris back on the racetrack. But so far, all clean and green from the race from the uh, race tower. Boy, just a few moments ago, that two, the two and the four have been racing extremely hard. 
hard. I think I saw some smoke coming off uh, four there. Let's look at. Let's look again. This was the first incident. Time these two found each other on the racetrack. Oh, and then off of four, a little bit of contact and quite a bit of contact too. You can see the right front of the four actually buckled a little bit on uh, impact when him and when Dylan drove into the two, got into the two car. So it's going to be interesting to see if there's any smoke. And let's hear it. The two Robert Smith has to say. Two car, four car just drove in you like a fucking idiot, man. I'm does that again. You have permission to crash him. Yeah, he wants to be able. Yeah, he just drove us into the wall. I mean, he wants to do that. I have no problems. No problems. That's honestly, I'm not sure why the two's upset. I mean, he was giving it too. Dylan is known to be aggressive when need. Needs need be he's one of the more cleaner racers, but that right there, you came up. Everybody's fighting this loose condition in today with you know with the rest of the race being on Monday and cars coming to cars getting together. We've seen it a lot on the re before. We saw it with the forty three a few moments ago. As uh, as we get, you just caught a radio communication from the four on that exchange between him and the two. Inside, outside, 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 outside. Oh, watch it, watch it. Careful there, bud. Got in, though. Oh, did he really just fucking do that? Oh, he did. Oh, he did, dude. I mean, I don't understand what the, the hell his problem was. I mean, he was racing everybody like dick all day yesterday and all day today. So, screw him. Temper is building up early here in Auto Club. Could we see, uh, see drama possibly between some teams? Getting close to the later stages of this race. There are six laps to go. As we, oh, we got a crash. Front stretch. Oh, back stretch. Hard. The Roush cars. Watch it. Watch Come on. Watch him. Come on. Watch him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And there's a couple... Come on, 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 come on. Oh, Brendan Little's in it. You see him. Robert Smith's in it. Jacob Tube, see the nine. He just got by that spinning two car, getting nearly T-boned in that incident. That's all three Roush cars right there. And, oh, watch Brendan Little. Oh, my God, that's a hit. That I'm wow. Cautions out a huge, huge crash. That happened right off turn two. Just killed two of the Roush drivers that were having amazing runs. In fact, all three of them were having decent runs. Peyton Beasley in the six. I 
There's Robert Smith in the two involved. There are reports that are going to probably wave the red because of how hard some of the damage was and that those hits were. I mean, there's oil. In fact, there's a fire on the two. All right, stop and get out, please. They're going to try to tend to Brendan Little, who uh, his white, his the we- throttle hung when he was uh, trying to get by the end in- by the instant. Collects he collected his teammate, and then right here, this is hard. This is some of the probably one of the hardest hits you'll see. One of, if not the heart, probably the hardest hit out of that anybody has taken. Right here. And if you're wondering, the 14 of KFC Cup Series, you spent a couple laps yesterday during the couple laps yesterday to fix the crash damage from the from his incident with the 24 and the 12. He just got back on the lead lap. As we focus on cleanup efforts. And if we go back, Mike, if we go back and look at the onboard camera of the, t- of the nine car as the two suddenly start spinning. Wow. I want to talk about, you know, safe driving and having a little bit of luck on your side. That right there is driving with your eyes closed, basically. Look at that. He doesn't panic, doesn't get out of the throttle. He knows, knows if he gets out of the throttle, he could. he's going to get hit. So he basically just sends it and closes, closes his eyes during that and makes it through. Tell you what, that two car came inches from destroying the nine. Right now, you see the winner net is down on Brendan Little. He is gingerly getting out after that hit. The throttle hung. And he made it past the opening, like where the wall juts out. He hit that opening. That is always scary when you see a car slide across in a, in, in a crash like this. That is super, super scary to see a car just shoot across traffic almost like it was on ice if you will So Brendan Little did get out of the car, which is great. All three of the Roush cars that were involved in that incident, Alvin Alonso, he was probably he was the car that triggered all this. He's gotten the winner down as well. He's climbed over the top of the car. And initially you don't really think he has that much damage. But remember, it's always things you can't see, and when you hit a hit a wall, it's like we talked about yesterday at the forty-eight. It's except the forty-eight got lucky; he was already slowing down, and when he shot up the track and hit the wall, it's always the things in these racks you can't see. Is there any tow arms, transmissions? When that seventeen car snapped, snapped back after getting hit, basically killed the rear axle of the 17 
actually has shifted the car. So initially it doesn't seem like the 17 had that much damage, but you know, again, everything here says otherwise. While we're here, let's go to our uh, team caliber cutaway car. Let's talk about what happens when a car gets hit and hit and things break. So you just saw a few months ago, the 17 got hit, hit, hit when the 16 by the 16 as he was spinning back across. He got hit as the 16 was slowing down. Now, when and you get hit in the wheel, it initially crumples the body, but because safety advances in NASCAR have changed so much compared to, you know, so where if it was 20 years ago, that car would have probably exploded most likely. There's a rear axle. When that hits in such an angle and that car gets off the ground, that, that axle and everything inside the drivetrain breaks. When that 17 spun and slapped the wall, it really essentially destroyed the rear axle of the 17 and the front uh, steering of the front as well. So it basically killed the suspension and any steering ability for the 17. So that's um, three Roush cars taken out in a cars taken out in a double whammy, and the seventeen. Hit this. The six and the six slam ball. That was a double way right there. And then six got hit in the back by the two, which cracked the radiator pretty hard. And then the 16 comes in. I'm really curious as to how that happened 16 tries to turn right hits the 17 in the rear wheel flips him around both cars hit the wall then the 16 just shoots right across traffic and while this is all going on jacob tube pulls some crazy mission impossible stunts to miss this the two this two car spins right in front of him and somehow he finds enough room to get by Let's uh, listen to radio communications from the haunt during this wreck. Watch, watch him guide his driver through. All right, inside. All right, watch the eighteen. Watch the eighteen outside. Eighteen outside. Whoa, 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 whoa! Go down, 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 down. Come on, stay in it, stay in it, stay in it, stay in it, bud. Stay in it, stay in it, stay in it, bud. Holy, good job, man. That was wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow is right. <laughs> While we look at tickets to the race and the Fox Sports Motorsports Hour, Friday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be out in North Carolina for some qualifying at the Rock. First time we've gone to a short track this season or a track less than 1.5 1. miles. Got a one mile bull ring, then there's gonna all right. So here's how the schedule works. So Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern, there'll be a practice session. Then qualifying at 2 30 p.m. Eastern later that day. Both will be on FX Saturday. Two practice sessions in the morning and one happy hour session after the NASCAR Xfinity Series race here at North Carolina. There will be a fr practice session at 8 a.m. At 7 a.m. locally to the track seen on uh, the FX app. And that will be shown on FX and FS1 at 8.30 a.m. as and taped away. And then at, then at 11.30 a.m. will be a 30-minute happy hour session at Rockingham. And then at 12 will be the 
Gear Wrench 400 from Rockingham, North Carolina Speedway on FX. And then at 3 p.m. Eastern will be coverage of NASCAR IHOP Cup Series final practice. Sunday, NASCAR race day, 8 a.m. Eastern. And that with a 90-minute episode of that. And then the pre-race show begins at noon Eastern with the Pizza Hut countdown to green. And then at 12.30 p.m. Eastern will be coverage of the Sun Energy 1400 from Rockingham. That race is rumored to be one for the age, ages. Actually, are rumoring to introduce a new tire there. So that will be interesting. One mile long. Rumor that the weather is supposed to be gorgeous that day. Mid-70s. Possibly cracking the 80s. It's going to be slick next week. It's going to be fun to watch. Hit a little... Uh, it's a little fun to watch here as well. So WB Network, who has essentially dominated a good majority of today's race. With four four laps to go. And scheduled distance. First two races of the season have had two, had a late restart, going to overtime. Vegas ended under caution last Sunday. Hopefully we have can have four laps of uh, clean racing, but hard racing. Ready, red. All right, green, 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 green. Both cars dead even. That's as good as you can hope. Four slides up. A little bit of checking up at the back. Going into one. Look at this, WB Network put ahead, three wide for second. Apollo Moon down on the bottom. Bottom, bottom, bottom three. Two Toyotas up top, Apollo Moon's holding his own, look at this. Eek, he's looking to play spoiler, slides in. Wow, look at this. Three to go. Look at him chase him down. Oh, he's on the apron here. He slides up. Don't let him get you. Don't let him get you here. Come on. Don't get the bad end of it. Let's say, was that worth the price of admission? Two to go. WB Network looks low. Side by side. Three to go. They are side by side for the lead. Oh, I think I saw a puff of smoke. Remember, Caleb Hoffman's back there as well. He's looking. He's looking to pounce. He's there. Side by side. Into three. We come back around. Oh, looks like we may have a little bit of contact with the back, a little bit of smoke. You stay green. The 11 going at it. White flag waves. One to go here at Fontana. The WB Network tries to throw it in. Apollo Moon right on his back bumper. This is drama right here at its finest. Oh, we got car on the wall in, in two. 83. So we're still green. Look at this. This is going to be for the marbles here. Into three for one final time. They are holding each other side by side, dead even. Off of four. It's a drag race. They touch the 78s into the wall. And the 88 spins. Ends across the nose of the 78. WB Network wins. A wah. Oh, they're both spit. They're both crashing. 78's into the wall. 88 eight sideways. And keep your foot in it. Keep your foot in it. Keep your foot in it. 
And I can't. Looks like WB Network may have got it. Did we win it? Oh my God, that was. Wow. That was an intense way to end a race, a rain delayed race. Both. You think these drivers don't want to win? See the 88 of Apollo Moon and into the wall. Both cars are actually drivable, surprisingly. I don't know about that 78, though. He's sitting in the mud. He's trying to get the car going. So we're seeing... We're going to wait a bit here. Yeah, you see, he's going, but he's got a lot of damage. Remember that the rest of the top five, as we know of, is the 19, the 11, and the 4. As of right now. So while we're here, we're going to try to see if we can... Take a look at video footage of who slung, slid across the line first. A lot of people, the 78 camp is saying they did. The 88 camp saying they did it as well. So let's go ahead and look through this last lap. Because there is a lot to take in. See right here, you see 78 still holds on. They're going into three. They're right here. See 78 still there. It come off four. Looks like 78 gets into the wall, gets loose. Loose hits the 88. And then the 78 goes for a long drift. 88 knocks it into neutral. Then here comes the where's the nineteen and all this? The seventy eight right. Let's look at it again from our start finish line. Oh, that might be it. See the eighty eight up against the wall. He's in neutral. Right now, he's letting that car roll back, roll to try to beat the 78. He knocks it into lower gear on purpose. Here he goes. And the 78 right here, here's the damage. Oh. Wow. We are getting word from race control that WUB Network, the 78, his... Due to him sliding across video, according to video footage of this finish, he slid across that line and uh, we are hearing from race control that he is the winner. And probably the craziest finish you will ever see. A better question would be, how did that 78 slide across? And more importantly, how did the 88 keep it in second? In fact, they are looking at video footage. Also, like the 88 is currently not going to be scored in second. They are rumoring he is. He backed it across in sixth. They're seeing reports that he did run out of fuel as he downshifted to try to keep it in, himself in second. So it is a one, two, three Toyota finish. Toyota gets their first win of the year. WB Network becomes the third different driver to punch his ticket to the playoffs. 
after a wild finish that I guarantee you will be talked about for a long, long time. After a wild four lap dash to the finish. One, two, three Toyotas. Let's go ahead and while we're here, let's see, look at our results. The cars behind the the six the seven cars behind did not finish. The they are not part of the top ten or whatever. These three were taken out in wrecks yesterday. So WB Network wins this race in a thrilling conclusion this morning and this afternoon. And probably the craziest craziest finish you will ever see. So again, these seven cars that did not finish, 27 of them did. 22 finished on the lead lap. So next Sunday at noon will be the Pizza Hut pre show from North Carolina, the 12.30 p.m. Eastern will be live coverage of the Sun Energy 1400 from Rockingham. Crowds rumored to sell out that day, so that place is going to be jumping. One mile racetrack, tough on tires, tough on drivers. It's going to be interesting. The Marathon Man at 400 at Auto Club. So the Auto Club 400 presented by Pennzoil. Winner is the 78 of WB Network. So congrats to him and so long from Fontana.